Hello, my friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to episode 162 of Why Did I Buy This? This series started as a way to help crafters find unique ways to use products that they have in their collections, but it's also a great series for new crafters who are wondering what they need to get started. My name is Lindsay. I have been crafting with Stampin' Up! for over 20 years, almost 21. I love to craft and I love to get to share what I'm working on with you. You can find me here on Facebook, um, facebook.com backslash inky thumbs. You can also find me on Instagram at Inky Thumbs, and you can find me on YouTube. So, welcome friends. As you're tuning in, please say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. You can let me know if you're watching the replay. And of course, sharing this video is a very nice compliment, so go ahead and hit the share button now, and your friends can tune in live as well. Hello friends, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I am working with a product today that, um, I have to say like it kind of surprised me at first. I was struggling with it, um, but I've had some time to play with it now and I think I've got some tips that are really gonna help you with that. So if you've been struggling with this product and you'll see it when I flip the camera around, know that um, you are not alone. I think it's because, sorry, I just noticed I forgot to put some of my stuff on the counter. <laughs> Fine, everything's fine, it's all fine. Happy Friday, happy Friday. Okay, um, I had a product like this in the past. We've had, this is a third rendition of it, and so I think I was used to what I had seen in the past, which is why I was struggling, because I was trying to use it the way I've used previous tools like this, and it just doesn't work that way. So, hello, Susan, good to see you. Um, now just a update on what's happening in my stampin world. Um, I had a really, really, really fun class on Wednesday. We did the naughty Valentine class. Um, yes, it is naughty. I'm not going to show you the cards because <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody, but like think punny, think cheeky. It's an annual class I run. It's very popular. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you're interested in some naughty cards, send me a message because I can I can send you a picture. Um, yeah, that, so we had a fun naughty class. We did a, my new catalog release party. I will have a couple of classes coming up in February, but the last class I have in January is actually on Thursday this coming week. And it's at the Much Art Conservatory. So if you're interested in taking an in-person class at a really cool location, all you have to go to is movelearnplay.edmonton.ca and the registration is all through there. You have to go to add up classes and find the craft section and you'll find my class there. It's the love is in the air class. So we're doing Valentine's, we're doing a wedding card um, and anything kind of love themed. So like a thinking of you. So it's a fun one to take. So if you're wanting like a no pressure, not that any of my classes have any pressure. You guys know me, I'm pretty chill about things. Um, but it is like a really fun class because when you're finished your cards, if there's time, you can go walking around the much art exhibits as part of your class fee. Um, hi, Courtney. Hi, Ethel. Uh, so what else do we have going on? Oh yeah, it's celebration. Duh. Um, January and February, we have our best sale of the year. So this little brochure here is exclusive product that is only available through these free rewards. So in Canada, when you place a $60 order, we will be able to um, gift to you these great little rewards. So this is, there's stamp sets, there's designer series paper, there's um, embellishments, ribbon, dies. So yeah, now is a great time to be able to take some things off your wish list. I will mention that things are while supplies last. So if there's something you have your heart set on, please don't wait because things do sell out. Um, the other thing is I'm using my glass mat like a ton. Oh my gosh. So episode 160 of why did I buy this? I showed you the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio. So this glass mat is exclusive to our demonstrator starter kit at the, at the moment. Um, and it's a freebie. So it's got an $82 value. But if you buy our starter kit at this time of year, not only do you get to pick $165 of your choice of product for only $135, and there's no shipping or GST on that, which is added savings, you also get the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio for free. Now, if the studio isn't your cup of tea, 
you can choose instead an additional $41. So that amounts to $206, a product of your choice for only $135. It's the best of all worlds. It's a win, win, win. Um, you get all of the perks of being a customer with Stampin' Up, but you also get all the demonstrator perks, which includes a 20% discount on your own purchases. So it's kind of a great thing. My team has uh, access to the Cloud9 Stampers Facebook group. I do a free class for my, a virtual class for my team every month, the first Wednesday of the month. Um, so you can be anywhere in Canada and join up. Sorry to my international friends. If you're watching this, I can't help you. I can only work within Canada. Okay, we're going to get started. I'm going to do the awkward transition so you can see my hands. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you think I've been using red? There's a reason why all my social media is inky thumbs. I always have ink everywhere. It's part of the fun getting messy, don't you think? I was talking the other day to some of my classes and uh, I was saying, you know, as adults, I don't think we get to play enough and crafting to me feels like play for adults. So um, that's one of the reasons why I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do the awkward transition. You can see my inky hands and uh, we'll get started on this very fun product. And hopefully I can help you um, make it a little bit easier. Okay, flipping you around and locking you in. So we're just gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All right, so if you haven't guessed, here is what we're using. We have a new brayer with Stampin' Up. It is called the Stampin' Brayer. It's $22 and it is a silicone roller. This um, helps you to give even coverage to stamps. You can use it to add texture and ink to surfaces. Um, you can uh, use it on embossing folders. I personally love techniques. So this brayer is very fun for the technique side of crafting. Now there's something that you should notice here. There's these little uh, metal spikes that they're not really spikes, they're not spiky, but there's these middle things. So you just have to make sure that these are up and not down. They're actually intended to rest your, um, your brayer on and that is so you don't get ink on your surface. But you do need to make sure that it's this way when you're rolling it so that you don't have these interfering. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna bring in on my glass mat studio, one of the, the um, components of that is this amazing silicone mat. And the silicone mat is uh, great for being able to not only add ink to your, to be able to use a palette, but you can put your ink pads in here so that they don't slide around. Um, however, what we're going to do this time is something a little bit different. So I'm just gonna slide this, I'm gonna flip it this way so you can see a little better. I'm gonna put this here, just in the corner of my screen, and I'm bringing in my sweet sorbet, and we're going to add sweet sorbet to the silicone mat. Now, normally with our red inks, they do tend to um, stain things, but I will say that I did leave this on my silicone mat for a while, and it didn't stain it, so I was very pleased about that. Now I'm going to bring in some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to spritz that and make it nice and juicy. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So now I'm going to roll it into my little palette here. And on my glass mat, I'm just going to roll it along and we get this very fun kind of drippy texture. So I have my little cleaning cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off any of the excess here and then wipe off my glass mat and move this aside. So look at how cool that looks. Now I'm going to set this over here and bring in a piece of basic white cardstock. Now there is a celebration reward that is called the watermelon, a watercolor melon. So it's got this um, watercolor imagery within the um, set. Yeah, look at my hands, you guys. Um, and I'm really loving how this stamps, and it's a very fun sort of summery type stamp set. So this is free with a $60 order. And I'm going to bring back in my 
sweet sorbet. And I'm going to stamp my watermelon just like this. And then I'm going to use my Stampin' Blend, my blender pen, sorry. And I'm just gonna go over top of where I stamped. And it's just going to fill it in a little bit so that it looks a little more watercolored. Just like that, and I'll do both of them like that. You see how it's just kind of filling in the white spots? Just like that, very nice, okay. And next, I'm going to use my garden green and I'm going to bring in the rind and we're going to stamp that along the bottom, just like so. Now the other thing with that stamp set is there are seeds, because of course it's watermelon. So, oh, hi Ashley. <laughs> so we're gonna add some little watermelon seeds. I'm gonna add a few here and then there's a single one so you can kind of make it look more random. Like that. Okay, perfect. And now we will fussy cut that out. And I'm going to use the, these dies here. These ones are called the Everyday Details dies. So we're going to use this and just cut out a section of our background that we've created. So let me skip ahead now and I'll show you the finished project. So here we go. So I brought in the greetings from the sweetest cherries and I used the birthday wishes from that. So sweet birthday wishes and then use the seeds to fill in the background of the set. Cute, right? Yeah, it's fun to kind of play with some more summery sets right now, especially since it's been so cold in Edmonton. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next project. And the next project is a very fun technique. So this one is we're going to bring in two colors. We're going to bring in Lost Lagoon and we're going to bring in Lemon Lime Twist. <laughs> Courtney, you're so cool. Yeah, it's not the PYP. We're getting to that one. Okay, so the Lost Lagoon and the Lemon Lime Twist. So we're going to start by putting the Lost Lagoon. We're just going to stamp it right onto our glass mat. We're making a palette here. And then the Lemon Lime Twist, we're going to put that right beside it. So you'll notice I didn't touch it so that we're not um, having our ink sort of mash together. Now I'm going to bring in that alcohol spray again and just really saturate that. So we're making kind of a puddle of ink onto our mat. I'm going to bring in some basic white and set that aside here. And I'm just gonna make sure that my brayer is nice and clean. You can run it under the sink too, obviously. So if I try to roll this along, it doesn't spin. So what I did is I just, this is part of the reason why my fingers are inky. I just turned it like that in the puddle, okay? So now with my paper, I'm going to roll that along and it gets that. So if you wanted to add more, you can just go ahead and re-ink and then, and the more, um, layers you add on it, the more texture you're going to get. So you can kind of get that fun look. Now, I wanted to quickly show you, this is one that I did with Fleur de Flamingo and Clipso Coral. It just, it's just so pretty. I haven't decided how I'm gonna use this background yet, but it's just like a really, really fun way to be able to create a background. Kind of looks like paint splotches. Oh, we have that paintbrush in the tool stamp set. That would be fun. Okay, we'll do that another day. So I'm just going to bring in a wipe and just take off the excess here, just so I'm not accidentally setting things where they shouldn't be. Just dry it with my cloth. Okay, so now we have this background that we're working with. So I'm going to bring in the stamp set Submarine Life. So this is new to our annual catalog. Or no, 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 mini catalog, sorry. 
Um, and we'll just set that there for a moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a scene using some of the stamps from that beautiful little set. So first of all, I'm going to use crumb cake and we're going to, I'm doing it up in the middle because we're going to be cutting it out. Um, so don't be alarmed that this is sort of floating right now. You can kind of move it along and add, add the length that you need. Uh, now I'm going to bring back in my lemon lime twist. We're gonna add some plant life like that. We have Lost Lagoon, so we'll add some little fish like that. And with our flirty flamingo, and then we're gonna stamp off so that it looks like it's in the background, right? Yeah, Carol, it, okay, I can't wait for you to get yours too. Um, it's such a great deal with that demonstrator starter kit right now to be able to get your glass mat. So um, I'm very happy for you. Okay, we're bringing in Memento and we're gonna stamp happy birthday, just like that. So you can see I'm building a scene here. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you is um, for this card is this cutie patootie little starfish. So we're actually gonna stamp that separately. And I used my Lost Lagoon to color the snorkel. The new markers are really beautiful. They, um, this pen end is my new favorite thing because you just have so much control with it. And then I, used my pool party and I colored in his little goggles here. So here's a very fun thing that I'd kind of forgotten about. Do you guys remember the fine tip glue pen? This is something we still carry. Um, it has a white lid that twists off and there is a metal spike here that um, really challenges the, the bifocals. Um, but it, it fits right into this little nozzle so that you don't get clogs. And I'm going to add that to the goggles here. And so what happens is it looks like it'll, it'll dry with the texture of the glue, so the bubble of it, so that you uh, have that look of the goggles having a glass, oh, I'm really challenging myself doing this on video, but hey, I did it. Um, so it's going to dry so this little, his little goggles look like they have um, a glass frontage to them. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead and show you the finished project. Here we go. There we have it. So I added a little bit of splatter and bubbles. Here you can see he's got his little goggles on and added some texture to the background. So again, this is all done with your silicone brayer. And the fun thing about it is that it's always gonna look different. And that's one of the things I love about techniques is you get these unique cards. Okay, we're gonna move on to the final project. So this one is the PYP. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna make sure that my brayer is nice and clean. And something as I was playing with, I didn't realize was this. The metal comes apart so that you can remove the brayer, okay? So now you've got this separate. I was so happy to learn this because you can add so many textural elements to this brayer when you can remove these things. So I'm adding some little elastic bands to my silicone part of my brayer. So I'm just wrapping it around like that. Now I'm going to feed it back into the metal holder and I'm going to bring in my uh, old olive. Yeah, Courtney, right? Fun. Okay, so we're gonna ink up these little elastic bands 
and then we're going to turn our paper sideways and we're going to roll it along like that. So only the ink on the elastic band is going to transfer to the sheet. And it's just because that's where the, that's the furthest thing away, right? So that's the only thing that's going to transfer. So let's take this apart and I'll remove my elastic bands. And then I'm going to just make sure that this is clean and throw it back into the handle. So that's where these little um, pokey things are helpful. We're going to ink up Old Olive. Now it doesn't roll the same way as the, um, the old days, the rubber brayer that we used to have. So you do have to sort of um, be mindful that it's not going to be maybe as uh, smooth, but I am finding that I'm getting the technique of it pretty well. And using the glass mat helps because it's going to pick up ink as you sort of roll it over the surface. So again, we're going to clean off the brayer like so. And now I'm going to bring in my pool party. <laughs> Shocker. We're going to ink up the brayer. And now uh, one thing I will mention is that it's really helpful to have ink refills for your ink pads when you're using something like a brayer because you are pulling a lot of ink off of your ink pad. It just makes it so that you have um, more, uh, you're not going, going to run out of ink. So see what I mean? How once you get over the full rotation, you're starting to see the naked part of it. So now I'm going to start this way and roll down like that. Okay, so it's adding a lot of ink to the middle. So I could just roll it this way and roll it this way, but I'm gonna show you another secret on how you can make it look a little more blended. I'm just gonna clean off my surface. Okay, so I brought in my ink pad no, my alcohol, and I sprayed that, and I actually just used my fingers to like, I know, this isn't like super sophisticated, but see how it starts to blend together? Just like that. Now, again, I like texture in my card, so I'm not bothered by this, but you could keep going until you get the texture you want. Um, you could keep rolling it along, but I'm gonna stop there. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you one more way that you can use your brayer. I am going to bring in this fabulous set. So this is a hybrid folder. Uh, I forget what it's called now. Um, it's the one with the sayings in it. But you can use your old olive with your brayer, ink it up, and then I'm just going to roll it along. So it's going to add ink to the very detailed outline that is the greeting here. We will match up the hybrid Die, and you can feel it kind of locks into place. There we go. And then you're going to put your old olive paper over top, run it through your stamp and cut and emboss machine, and then you get this. So can you see how it has just that subtle detail on the outside? It really makes it stand out. If you look at it without, you can see the difference, right? It's subtle, but it does add that little shadow. So it makes the word really pop off the page. So we are going to be working with the little hello. And then I also brought in from the Bright Skies stamp set, which we have Celebration Designer Series paper that coordinates with this. I should mention just from past experience, I have no details on this now, but just over the years, I've noticed that um, the Designer Series paper uh, embellishments, those kinds of things tend to sell out first with our celebration rewards. Um, our stamp sets we manufacture in-house. So if you have multiple things 
and a budget to spread it out, I would go with the designer series paper and consumable products first and leave your stamp sets to last. But again, there are no guarantees. I don't, I don't, I can't see the future. Okay, I'm bringing in my um, basic white and I'm going to use my Versamark. Where did I put my Versamark? There it is. And I'm using the flower. So I'm going to stamp three of these, but for the sake of demonstration, I'll just do the one. And I'm going to use my white embossing powder and emboss the flower. So here's my heat tool. And again, our glass mat is heat resistant, so you don't have to worry about your heat tool, which gets very hot, like oven hot. Um, you don't have to worry about it warp warping or damaging the surface beneath because the glass mat can take it. Okay, so now once we've got it all shiny, then you know that it's embossed. So there we go, that is complete. And I'm going to bring back in my pool party and just with my little blending brush here, I'm gonna tap it off on my mat and just go over top of the flower. So it does two things. It, it's going to help bring out the detail behind the flower because we're doing white on white. It also makes it easier for me to die cut this because when I run it through, I can see exactly where the petals are. Now let me go ahead and skip to the end and I'll show you the finished project. So here we have the PYP card, friends. There you go. So here you can see the texture that I've added with the elastics on my brayer. You can see how the um, background of the flowers really pop up. There you can see how the brayer has added that detail to the hello. And I've just added a few little flowers. These gems are called the iridescent foil gems. They, if you're only gonna get one set of embellishments, this is a really nice one to go with because they're neutral and will go with everything. You could also use your um, markers to be able to color, like if you wanted to be able to add a yellow center to it. I can just use my marker to color over top. The alcohol markers, of course, are going to dye everything. So this will just stay yellow. <laughs> Courtney, you're funny. Okay, let me show you one last time the projects from today. So here's our POIP. Here we've got um, using the palette on the background. You can see I use similar colors on these cards. And then here we've got using our silicone mat that comes with our glass mat to be able to create that sort of um, drippy texture for our celebration um, watermelon set. So if you're thinking to yourself, Lindsay, why don't I have these products? Head to my online store. You can see the link in my profile and uh, you can shop away. Remember that celebration rewards are limited to January and February and our while supplies last. If you're like, oh my goodness, I need this mat and my wish list is through the roof, the Demonstrator Starter Kit is definitely what you're going to want to look into. You can also purchase that through my online store when you click the Join Now button. Um, it is a really easy process. It is definitely the best deal going. It is a very fun community to be a part of, and I would love to have you on my team. So have an amazing weekend, friends. I hope you get to craft this weekend because she cool outside here. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have questions. Bye for now.